leo nimekuja tuongee story ya comeback power now hii comeback power ilitoka wapi <laughs> if race nilikuja kuijua <laughs> last year wakati beti chalo alikuwa na relocate for the third time to a new building na hii brand yake Flair by Betty where she gave out a beautiful speech and you could tell mtu wangu biz biz yake inakuwa hit eh inaanguka but kwa sababu ako na hiyo nguvu ya kuwa entrepreneur hakuwa na ficha alikuwa na dai mtu wangu at the reason why ata am relocate to the new place last year ni kwa sababu i realize zile dreams alikuwa nazo za flare by beti aziko zinakuja kuwa fulfilled rahisi so aka aka ataka kitu na timu yake akaona ni poa a relocate to somewhere else ndiaone kama hii biz itapik naongea story kwa nini kwa sababu jana auctioneers wali auction flare by beti hii story manze inaniuma sana cause uh, mimi ama entrepreneur mimi sita sitaongea at story mingi ama entrepreneur and i know what it takes to start a business <laughs> we mtu wangu biz si kila mtu anaweza kuwa businessman ama businesswoman a a kwa wengine manze hao tu wanaweza work better wakiwa wameajiriwa kwa sababu kukua a business person you go through a lot hey <laughs> mtu wangu kwanza kitu ya kwanza lazima ukue na shock absorbers <laughs> anything can happen at any time it doesn't matter which business you are doing but the truth is unazamka leo asubuhi upata vituko 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 this lady at least amefanya hii kitu yake hata before ikuje ikue auctioned for like six years if you are six years is not a joke kwanza akanashua you ndio an entrepreneur amue sasa tu auctioneers wachukue biashara ipigwe tu kengele yende she's just amekuwa amechoka nayo it is not easy to let a multi million business it go down to, to the drain manzi it's not a joke manzi i know it's a, it's a messed up world especially now about uh, when, when, when you're talking about taxes kwa sababu kama we realize two months ago Kiareli Daisha all high end salons barber shops lazima mlipe taxes na sasa zinakuwa backdated mtu wangu so you can imagine kama yeye na yeye ayako kama amejanika dunia mzima hata si Kenya <laughs> dunia mzima yeye ndo alikuwa target wa kwanza akaenda show you hiyo kitu ime, ime, aliona sasa itaimekwa wazi kwa sababu mtu wangu ukipiga hesabu za Kiare za Kanjo the steam yani maoverheads ah unapiga tu hesabu hata tu kitu ikunywe tu maji the time tu unaamua hata tu kitu iende kwa sababu biz is either ishike ama yanguke hapo kuna ga story mingi eh mtu wangu kaa mimi it took three and a half years for me to break even <laughs> we mtu wangu sasa joke hii story ya kuambia 6 months na kwanga uongo for any person mwenye ako in business anaweza kuambia watu pitia shit shit mtu wangu eh? a business za kuenjoy business za kuenjoy kwanza kama hujajenga jina we ukumbuke biti chalo shares the name eh the name ako nayo lakini bado imeanguka eh lakini mimi naweza mwambia mimi I, I, i don't take it lightly nikiona business zinaanguka but for now yeye yeah, kwanza i take time Now at least I may have a feel of how business is. So in, in any case I know she has other investments but kama kitu ya work kwanza mtu anaipoteka break una ina kwanza ina sinki hata mimi nimeanza biashara zingine hapo nikachapa viraka mobo paka zikaanguka. Wao inauma kwa sababu yenye nimekuja ku realize hii busy busy hata tukizianza aje 
usianze business na rafiki trust me hizi partnerships isiwe kwa na friend kwa sababu azishagipoa unapata gaya kitu inaenda kati na inaanguka kwa sababu mara moja it's, it's not easy ku relate na a, a friend wakati in business together kwa sababu mimi i believe there's time for business and there's time for friendship business wacha kaikando na friendship kabisa so whatever betel now she's going through mimi my day nimesha i feel uh, it's not an easy journey by the and i need support sai acha watu watu acha watu waongee wa, 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 tu but at least she tried and failed ana ame ako sasa hizi bitchalo zile shock absorber za konazo <laughs> i saw her yesterday after aliongeongea hapo akachukua aka aka, aka video hapo but you could, you could, you could tell manze she had had enough of that business what she ende what she ende kwa sababu mtu wangu ukiona place imefika ambako na mtu busy ende unaona guys sasa hii hii inaingia kwa mfuko ku sustain na kuna watu wengi sana walikuwa wameajiri ile biz wameenda wapi wameenda wapi wameenda tu kwao eh na ingekuwa na watu walikuwa tegemea na watu wengine so anyone mwenye ana celebrate the downfall of this business he, he or she is a fool kwa sababu mtu wangu it's not easy to run a business in Kenya ikoza saa hizi wakati kuna hizi ma taxes we eh na kwa hiyo machache na washukuru sana na mtu yote mwenye ata kwanza biz anza small na kuwe realistic about the clientele kwa sababu ukisha kuwa realistic usi usi overprice any easy uh, kwanza services usi overprice sana all in the name at at any high end z the same same services zinakuwa offered place nyingine cheaply na wanazifanya poa so enda kwanza ustudy market natakaje usidanganya na watu tuko at at maybe una target watu wako na do the truth is our economy watu wengi wako chini wako, wako middle class na 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 na, 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 na uko chini so kama una set prices zako eka zile affordable zenye wase wataweza kuja wengi kuliko uziweke high end pale pesa kubwa alain unapata wasi wawili watatu sio poa but they we just learn the hard way uh, no go to realistic afadhali ukulage shilingi 10 kumi, kumi haraka haraka za haraka na watu wanakuja wengi kama wameenda in the, in the, in the process manzo unapata matengeneza do kama supermarket by the profit margins of supermarket is kwangi kubwa vile but those guys make billions kwa sababu watu ni wengi eh? i think it's time itangoje watu wa learn uh, the hard way but um bizni poa sizo ambia bizni poa ni, ni mbaya but si kila mtu na kwa hiyo machache na washukuru sana mungu awabariki naendeleeni tu kunisupport asante